Your Excellency, the Deputy Prime Minister of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, distinguished ambassadors, dear colleagues, members of the diplomatic community. 76 years ago, the United Nations was created as a vehicle of hope for a world emerging from the shadow of con catastrophic conflict. Today, women and men of the UN carry this hope forward around the globe. COVID-19, conflicts, hunger, and poverty, and the climate emergency remind us that our world is far from perfect, but also they make clear that solidarity is the only way forward. We need to come together to tackle the challenges and advance the sustainable development goals by ensuring that every person, every way, has access to COVID-19 vaccines sooner rather than later. By securing and upholding the rights and dignity of all people, especially the poorest, the most disadvantaged girls, women, children, and young people, by seeking an end to conflicts all around the world that scar our world, by bold climate commitments to save our planet and living up to them, and by building global governance that is more inclusive, networked, effective, as detailed in my recent report, Our Common Agenda. The values that have powered the UN Charter for the last 76 years, peace, development, human rights, and opportunity for all, have no expiry date. As we mark UN Day, let's unite behind these ideals and live up to the full promise, potential, and hope of the United Nations. That is the UN Secretary General's UN Day message 2021. It is particularly important for us as a UN family, Deputy Prime Minister, that you are here. As we all know, Ethiopia hosts one of the largest UN contingencies on, the, on, the, on our continent. And as we celebrate 76 years of the UN, having you as part of our celebration is particularly important. But also, we cannot underestimate the importance of your presence here for all our staff across Ethiopia, from regions as far afield as the southern national provinces to Somali region, who are working tirelessly in Benishango to make sure that every Ethiopian that needs help from the United Nations gets that help. And as you said yourself, Deputy Prime Minister, at the United Nations General Assembly, Ethiopia has been one of the stellar performers that has helped peace, as the Secretary General's message says, in on the continent. We hope that the UN family today that is listening and looking at you and your presence here takes the message back that Ethiopia and the UN are together united in this message from the Secretary General that we bring hope and that we continue to work together. The United Nations was created in the midst of challenges. Those challenges persist. How we solve them is our decision. And you're coming here today, Deputy Prime Minister, is an important part of how we work together to provide solutions. So once again, on behalf of all of us in the United Nations family, all the UN staff that are in Ethiopia today, essentially providing a public service, that they see your presence here today as a message from the government that together we will try to continue working together and build that relationship that we have always had. It is not an understatement to say that our staff in Ethiopia today are a little bit frazzled, and your presence here hopefully will help alleviate some of that. So thank you once again for coming, and we hope that in the true spirit of the United Nations and the 76 years, you were founding members, that we can bring together a spirit of collaboration and continue to work together for the betterment of humanity. Thank you very much.